Hello and welcome to this week's newsletter and we'll start with this week's big competition news. At the weekend it was the club championships and what a weekend it was too. Wow, the golf course played tough. It was fantastic. The golf course was amazing condition. Not that I actually played, but I certainly went out a little walk round. And yeah, the golf course was really, really difficult, but absolutely superb. It was awesome. Um, yeah, greens were quick, fairways were great. Rough was up. It was very windy, so you had to keep your ball in play. You had to stay patient. And as I kept on saying to everybody, you don't have to hit driver everywhere. Just keep it in play. If you can go round without taking any penalty shots or losing a golf ball, you would do, probably score pretty decently. And it was literally a survival of the fittest, mentally, more than anything else, wasn't it? Proper US Open golf. And in those situations, there's still always got to be a winner. It's the same for everybody. It's those that kind of hang it out the best will generally do well. But it was a fantastic weekend. So let's go to results. Well, first of all, we have a new men's club champion, Daniel Crosby, won on the third, no, one in a three-hole playoff against Danny Weston. It was awesome stuff. Uh, Daniel held his nerve fantastically well to win the men's club championship for the first time with scores. I've just got to double check them now. I thought I had them in my head. With scores of uh, 79 and a, fine, a great, fantastic 72 on the Sunday to win the title from Danny Weston, uh, who matched his score of one, what was it? One, five, one. Went into a playoff. Daniel won the three hole playoff by one shot. So well done, Daniel Crosby. Danny Weston, who's won it before a number of times. Uh, but yeah, couldn't quite hold off Daniel this time. Uh, unlucky to those that came. Jack Butcher was leading into the. It, Jack Butcher was leading after the first round, but unfortunately he just fell away on the second day and lost out by two shots. But yeah, well done, Daniel Crosby, the new men's club champion. Uh, Colin Denny won the handicap prize. He won. He became the handicap club champion. Well done to Colin Denny. He had a net. Uh, 68 on the first day, on the Saturday, followed by a next 73 on the uh, Sunday. Uh, so well done to Colin Denny. He beat Keith Wright into second, who Keith had a net 78 on the first day, but then a net 64 on the second day. A fabulous score that on the Sunday, Keith. Well done, net 64 is awesome golf. Special mention to Scott Watson, who had a fantastic net 65 on the first day when everybody else was really struggling but couldn't quite carry it through on the Sunday, but well done to them. In the ladies' competition, Jules Harbord won. She became the ladies' club champion, the scratch prize. Well done, Jules. Um, she missed out last year, unfortunately, due to her broken arm and a number of problems that caused. She didn't have a great first day, but she came through in the end, shooting a gross at 94, followed by Grace at gross 87, uh, and won with a score of 181 shots, which I think won by 13 shots in the end over Pauline Phillips, who came second. Well done to Pauline, but well done to Jules Harvard. Ladies' captain is also the ladies' club champion. Well done, Jules. Uh, in the handicap division, Tonya Connor won the handicap division with a net 71 and a net 77 for a final score of 148. Well done, Tonya. Tonya, you won the handicap prize by six shots. Well played. Again, Pauline Phillips came second in that special mention to Lee Denny, who led both categories after the first round, but couldn't quite get the deal done on the second round. But Lee came third in both of the scratch and the handicap categories as well. On to the junior uh, uh, junior club championships now, and it was uh, uh, Louis Bayfield. Obviously, Louis Bayfield won the scratch prize. It was a one round competition for the juniors on Sunday afternoon. Louis uh, Bayfield won the junior club championships scratch prize with a score of 86. And who won? Oh, and Noah Richardson, that's right. Young Noah won his first tournament ever with his uh, 40 points in the handicap division of the Junior Club Championships. So well done to him, that was super stuff. Um, and in the senior section, Colin Denny, who won the club champ uh, handicap club championship, he also won the seniors championship as well. So he won both prizes. So well done to Daniel Crosby, well done to Colin Denny, well done to Jules Harwood, well done to Tonya Connor, well done to Louis Bayfield, well done to Noah Richardson, all of our club champions 
for 2023. Fantastic golf. Well done to you lot there. Brilliant. And well done to everybody who played. And well done to those that battled out and stayed out there for both rounds and didn't give up very easily, as some did mentioning no names. You know who you are. You've got to find a bit of grit when it comes to golf. It will knock you down and you can't give up. You've got to keep going. And anything can happen. Anything can happen in golf. Some people have no returned after six holes of a 36-hole competition. I can't believe it. Anything can happen, honestly, in golf. Just never, ever give up. Right, OK, let's move on to other competition news now. And we'll go back to last Wednesday's uh, Ladies Divisional Stateford and Peggy Norton Cup, where Marie Norman won Division 1 with 42 points. Well done, Marie, beating Emma Punter into second on 39 points. Uh, I think that guess always oh, one division, so that means that uh, Marie Norman won the Peggy Norton Cup as well. Well done, brilliant. On Thursday, the men had their midweek staple food, where Matty Alp shot 40 points. Well done, Matt. Great score there. 40 points in Division 1. In Division 2, David Coe with a, one, with a four, fantastic 44 points. Well done, David. Brilliant, that is. Awesome stuff, 44 points. And in Division 3, Tony Palmer won with 37 points. Well done, Tony. He beat G-Spot Graham Tony in on Countback, also with 37 points. Well done to you. In our latest Captain Pro match, me and Captain Stu played against the Potters. Martin and Kim Potter last Thursday evening. A late kickoff for that one. And uh, yep, me and the captain, we actually won a game. Only the second one we've won this year. Um, we've not played at our best, but it was nice to play against Martin and Kim. Always have great fun playing against them too. Plenty of banter flying about. It was good. Martin wasn't on the best of his game. Martin had a bad day. Stewie didn't play particularly very well either. Kim was very steady and I was quite steady. But me and Stu managed to win by seven points in the end. So it was a good game, good fun game. Like I said, I think Martin had a busy day at work, so he was a bit worn out by the time he got here. We didn't play till half past four. So, uh, But yeah, it was great, great, great game, good fun. And we will take a seven-point advantage into uh, the finals day. On uh, on uh, on this Thursday coming, we're playing against Howard Thornton, club president, and Sean Maloney. So that should be good fun as well. Right, just a brief newsletter this week. That's everything for this week. We've still got open sweepstakes squares left. So come and see me uh, for those two pounds a square. I think they've got many left, to be honest. It's opened a couple of weeks away. So uh, make sure you come and get those squares. I think I've only got 20 squares left. So come and grab those two pounds a square. You can win over £100 onto your Pro Shop account. Right, that is everything for this week. My moustache, more lessons to do. Thanks very much for watching. And I look forward to seeing you all soon. Take care. Bye-bye.